she could come within the hour, she could come within like a few days. It's just like one of those things. Do I risk it for a biscuit? I'm getting ready to go for a run. I did set my alarm for 5 a.m. But I definitely snoozed it until like 6 o'clock. It's just so hot. That's like the only reason that I want to go for a run early. And I swear to God, all I talk about is how hot it is. All right, it's 6.36. Ew. Putting like something on your face when you haven't washed your face is gross. Sun protection. I am your mother. That song is stuck in my head. You listen to me. Oh no, please tell me one of these isn't dead. I I feel like I decide what length, length, distance. Why did I just say length? That's so weird. I feel like I kind of will decide what distance I want to do when I'm running. I would like to do maybe like 7K because I haven't done one in a little bit. We'll see how we go because honestly, I get so influenced by how hot it is. I find it so much, like so much harder to run. I need to stop talking when it's warm because it's just, ugh, like I feel sick. Anyway, I'll be back. My Gold Coast B-Day trip. And I wanted to thank Princess Polly for sponsoring this part of the vlog. Fun fact, I was like obsessed with Princess Polly throughout high school. And then the first time that they reached out to me, I literally shut my pants in 2017, which feels like so long ago now. So they just, oh, they hold a special place in my heart. And I'm so excited to wear this dress because I mentioned in my last video that I got the long, like the tall version of this dress. I find that like, wait, I also have it in green and I got this ages ago, but I do find it to be just like a little bit too short on me personally so when they came out with the tall version I thought let me get the tall version because this fabric tends to shrink just a tiny bit in the wash just like the nature of the fabric it's like the perfect length Anyway, my discount code this month is Connor, and that gets you 20% off the website as always. I'm pretty much bringing literally everything that I got because it just fits in so well with the beach vibes. I love how blonde my hair is. It just makes me so happy. So yeah, first thing I got was this. It, it's so nice because it kind of like cinches in underneath your bust and then flows out. It doesn't really touch your waist at all. So it's just like nice and flowy. And then it has a bit of a low back. Super cute and really flattering on the boobs as well. Next thing I got is this headband because I feel like headbands are coming back into fashion. I'll pop her on. It might look a bit funny because my hair is like um, a bit oily. I don't know if I suit headbands because I have such a ginormous forehead. Um, but I think like, isn't it kind of cute? Keeps your hair out of your face, obviously. Also, are you meant to have your ears out of a headband or are they meant to be like covered up? And I also got these sunnies. And I really like the shape. I've always been one to gravitate towards this shape. Um... <laughs> But I like these. I think these look really cute. And I love the tortoiseshell pattern. I literally have so many pairs of these shoes. I think they're called the Maybell sandals. But they'll be listed down below. I've been wearing these ones at the moment. They're my go-to. They're like the black and the brown. But I do love these because they're so neutral. They're so comfy. Ugh. I think I have like five pairs in different colours. These are like the only shoes I wear on the daily. These and sneakers. I did have a pair in this colour before. But they got too dirty because I wore them to death. If you want a cute pair of sandals, definitely check those out. I am such a fan of a bright tee. I probably own more like brightly colored t-shirts than I do white or neutral. I saw this and I was like, yep, I love it. I feel like you'll either love or hate this because it's so in your face bright. I also got this top, which I feel like this style is really trendy right now. Just like the little knitted boob tube. This paired with a little long flowy skirt, I think is really cute. Or some denim jeans. I'm not really one to wear strapless tops, which I can because my boobs are fake. They don't like go anywhere. So I don't have to like worry about having things holding them up. I shall be bringing her. I'm also gonna bring this dress because I haven't like 100% decided on my birthday outfit so I'm gonna bring this as well this is stunning I love that it has the mesh and then it has like the lining because it just makes it look very like whimsical and pretty and then it has like the nice low back 
I love a good low back. I also picked up this really cute little pajama set. I got it in a size 10. I read the reviews and people said that the top was a little bit tight to like suggest sizing up. So glad I did because the shorts are nice and flowy. Look how cute that is. I would totally even wear that maybe just with a pair of jeans. It's just got like a little kind of scalloped edge. Super cute. And then these are the pants. Nice and flowy. Just like a super cute pajama set. One thing I do wish you could do with sets though is like choose what size you wanted the top and what size you wanted the bottom in. I think that would be like a game changer if Princess Molly did that. Finally, we have another oversized tee. And it just says send nudes, but nudes as in noodles. <laughs> I've seen this shirt so many times on the website, but I've never gotten it. I just thought this would be so cute just to have even like a pajama shirt because it is like that really nice comfy material. So I love this. Ah. But yeah, that's everything that I got from Princess Polly and everything that I'm taking with me on my birthday trip. I'm so lucky and grateful to be able to go away and celebrate my birthday with people that I love. And if you guys do want to check anything out, I will have it in the description box as always. And yeah, I'm going to keep packing because I still have a little bit to do. I swear animals know when you're leaving because Charlie like definitely knows something's up. I'm so sorry. I'll be back, I promise. You're just a pretty girl. Everybody is called for fighting. Bara, it is hot in here. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have everything. Okay. That's pretty heavy. Okay, we've arrived at the Airbnb. We've been here for like a couple hours maybe. This is by far like the nicest Airbnb I've ever stayed in. It is gorgeous. It's literally on the beach. My boyfriend and I are about to go to dinner. We're gonna go to The Collective, which I've been to a few times. It's so good. We were gonna walk there because we're staying in Palm Beach, but I think we might drive just because it's pretty hot still. This is the view. I can literally walk off to the beach and have a morning swim, an evening swim. We're gonna have some friends join us like on the Saturday and the Sunday for my birthday. So my birthday's on the Sunday. Oh, this place is beautiful. There's a lift in here. It's so pretty. I'm wearing the same thing that I wore down. So I will see you at the collective. Like, oh my God, look at this background in the kitchen. Okay. And I'm about to go for a quick beach swim and then we'll probably go for a walk somewhere. It is so hot today. I also put a bunch of condition in my hair to just kind of like block it from the ocean. Well, the sheets over my head. Hoping change is gonna find me. You don't have to. This is not my future kitchen. I don't want it. I will never not be obsessed with this. Like. <gasps> now I just have to figure out where everything is. I need a chopping board. Hello. Okay, I can't find any salt. They do have soy sauce, but I'm like, is that gross to put soy sauce in avocado? <laughs> you ever had Worcestershire? Worcestershire? How do you say it? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Worcestershire? <laughs> it's not bad. This is reminding my dad. Dad's a bit of a fiend for Worcestershire sauce. Good morning, happy 
Saturday. We started off the morning with a beach walk. I went for a swim. And now we're gonna head to Burley and go for a walk and I might get an acai bowl, coffee, that type of thing. So this garage is massive too. Monday today so my actual birthday was yesterday it honestly was like the best birthday ever we all went out for some drinks on the Saturday and then the Sunday we all kind of just chilled out here got uber eats went for swims we were like using the boogie boards that are in this Airbnb it was so much fun and literally just chilled the entire day so was definitely a little bit hungover yesterday as well but feeling much better today i'm so sad that we leave tomorrow it feels like it's gone by so quickly i feel like i just got here and i just showed you the place thank you so much to everyone who wished me a happy birthday 24 just sounds so weird coming out of my mouth like 23 yeah but 24 I don't know how I feel about it. I've just got like the blinds closed at the moment just because the sun in the morning is like really, really intense. Just looking at the beautiful ocean. I honestly cannot believe how much we've lucked out with the weather too. It's been perfect every single day. Perfect. I'm going to go get dressed and we're going to go to Woolworths. that I've ever stayed here to be honest and normally I'm like really ready to go home after trips but I really just I'm like I don't want to go <laughs> I don't know if I will ever move to the Gold Coast there is a part of me that wants to move to London for like a year I've never said that on camera before but which is like a whole other discussion in itself obviously moving to the other side of the world but just a bunch of thoughts in my head I feel like I'm ready for such like a big change I'm just not sure what it is yet I also ate like a lot of dairy yesterday and my skin is starting to break out. I haven't been eating and like taking all my supplements very well at all so I'm excited to kind of get back in, get back on that train, do my testing which I haven't done yet. And I'm just gonna sit here, watch the last sunrise and then probably start packing up a little bit because we've got to be out of here by 9.30. You gotta get going Easy now you gotta Good morning is now Wednesday we are back and today is gonna be like a reset day because I feel very out of sorts because I've got a lot of like work things to do but also like life admin things to do one thing I am glad I did I unpacked everything yesterday I'm the type of person I have to unpack straight away otherwise I will not do it this is one of those calendars where you write in the days today is Wednesday it's the 22nd of March sometimes when I find that I have like so much to do I get so overwhelmed that I just don't do anything and then I that kind of makes the situation worse. Don't know how I came to that conclusion in my brain. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. I should know this because Elise's birthday is the 31st. I know we say all the time, but honestly, time is moving so quickly. We just had Christmas. Birthday's gone for another year. Um, okay, nine. I also have a really bad habit of like trying to get everything that I need to do done in one day, or I will set myself a really overwhelming amount of things to do it's not very realistic i don't know why i don't just like try and spread it out over the week like a normal human instead of procrastinating for the week and then trying to do it all in one day that doesn't make sense Connor. weak ankle family point of failure they've been walking around i'm currently cooking my eggs 
on like a sandwich press because we ran out of gas and I'm too lazy to go get more gas right this second. It seems to be working. We're gonna have avocado on toast. Oh my God, it's working. I have the sudden urge to go ice skating. Ooh, why is this like separating? Stop, that's so good. Okay, that seems to be good. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I just dropped it on the floor. So much better than I thought it was. I also found this like everything but the bagel seasoning from Mingle. It is so good. I've been putting it on everything. Be hard working so you can be deserving of the rest that you are given. gym Ooh. i'm excited because i haven't been in ages but i'm also right before my period so i feel so bloated so bleh. my period was meant to come yesterday and i can kind of feel it brewing so i'm just like any minute now let me put on my songs to play at a party playlist because that'll get me in a good mood <laughs> join me on this gym session i've also just realized i don't have any tampons she could come with it now or she could come within like a few days it's just like one of those things do i risk it for a biscuit tell me why you'll find tampons in the most random of places and then whenever you need one nowhere to be found i also haven't taken my makeup off and i hate working out with makeup on but boy does that look good on camera i got the nars uh, the one in the skinny bottle, what's it called? Like the natural radiant something. Light reflecting foundation. I wore it on my birthday. That looks nice. Ooh, that's tight. Who had this one before me? Someone with a smaller head than me, that's for sure. <laughs> Which is not hard to do. Far out. Oh. I think I want to risk it for a biscuit, honestly. Hopefully the gym is dead because it's 1.48 on a Wednesday. But I swear to God. This gym is always busy, always. Oh, I don't have my barbell pad. That's so sad. Okay, let's do this. Hello. Star shine. The earth says hello. Why do you look like you're crying? Oh, Kelly. Hello. Good morning. It is Thursday. How long? We left a week ago to go to the Gold Coast. Wild. I attempted to go to the gym. I walked on the treadmill for like seven minutes and I just was like, it's not happening today. Day one is always like my worst day. Like I think I just need to literally make it a write off, but I am getting some tattoos today, which will be interesting because you're typically more sensitive to pain on your period. So that's a really good time to get tattoos. The times that I've gotten laser hair removal on my period have always hurt more, but I think, huh? yeah. Is there on your period? <laughs> There's been like one occasion where I had, yeah, I had to get on my period. I know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this weekly vlog. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.